Living on a low income can bring multiple stresses both on your work and personal life. For one, people living on a low income find themselves having inadequate basic amenities and services like food and access to health care. However, this shouldn't always be the case. There are ways that you can do to survive on a low income and we will share with you 5 money moves that you should make in order to live through the day and even better, improve your financial status. You've arrived at the right place. Welcome to Cash King's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you some tips and tricks for making money online. Please subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. As a result, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Please share this video and leave a comment below. Let's return to the video now. According to statistics, 5 out of 6 people are living on a low income. This means that making ends meet is a daily struggle that they face. However, there are multiple ways and methods you can do if you are living this life. Number 1. You need to get out of your high interest debts as soon as possible. If you are someone who is currently living on a low income, then having debt is something that you should avoid at all costs. Having debt literally goes with a high interest which will even burden you more each month. Basically, if you only make the minimum payments every month, most of the money you've paid will only go to your debt interest. So whether you realize it or not, only a small fraction of your payment actually goes to the debt itself. This will only drag your debt for many more months of paying, therefore making your debt more burdensome on your low income. So how will you get out of this debt trap? Well, for one, many lenders are actually willing to lower your interest and even take out your interest for a few months. They offer to people who are diligently paying on time and have missed only one or two payments all in all. If your lenders will actually grant you this offer, you can take advantage of the few months without interest in paying off your balance. Another method you can do is to transfer your high interest debts for a lesser interest debt. For example, you can choose to make a loan to fully cover your high interest debt as long as your new loan has a lower interest. By doing this method, you can save yourself some money on paying those high interests and eventually find yourself cutting down your time in paying fully your debt. Number 2. You need to cut costs from your top 3 expenses Cutting back on your 3 most major monthly expenses is one method to improve the amount of money you put in your pocket substantially. Housing, transportation, and food are all good places to start. These three types of spending account for around 62% of a typical household spending. These categories will produce the most substantial potential reduction in the quickest amount of time due to their large impact on your financial income. You will have the most freedom and flexibility if you reduce the category of large expenses. Prioritizing huge expenses also implies we don't have to worry about the tiny purchases we make because they won't be as important as managing your major expenses. We'll show you some examples of how downsizing your home might help you save money. Assume you bought a $750,000 three-bedroom, two-bathroom property three years ago. When you bought the home, you made a $150,000 down payment and signed a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage at 3.75%. This means you would be paying roughly $2,800 every month. However, after a period of time in the residence, you may notice certain things. You realize that you rarely use the third bedroom or the dining room, but you're still paying for it. Now, since you love your neighborhood and you wouldn't want to give it up, you decide to save some extra money. You can do this by buying a smaller two-bedroom apartment in the same neighborhood. You can perhaps cut your spending while enjoying your current place. You will have a monthly payment of $1,850 if you purchase this new property for $575,000 and put down $170,000. Of course, compared to the huge property you were previously paying for, this would mean a significant difference in monthly payments. In fact, you'll save about $950 per month on your mortgage payments or $11,400 per year. That's a savings of $11,400 a year with just one decision. This is true not only for one year but for every year you keep that mortgage. 
which will have a significant influence on your savings. So start with optimizing your top three expenses if you want to see gigantic changes in your financial situation in the long run. Number three, you can set up automated savings deductions from your pay. Everyone who lives on a modest salary would adopt the old adage in personal finance. Pay yourself first before your paycheck gets to your everyday account. You should make a strategy to deposit some of your earnings into a retirement or savings account because doing so will eliminate all incentives to spend them, causing you to fall behind financially. This is accomplished by automating your saving efforts. Enrolling in a tax advantage retirement plan offered by your company is one of the finest methods to automate savings. This could be a 401k or a 403b plan, depending on the retirement plan's regulations and restrictions. You can set aside a portion of your paycheck for this purpose, and your employer will match your contributions up to a certain rate. Assume your company does not have a tax-privileged retirement plan. If this is the case, you can still set up an individual retirement account, or IRA, to save money for retirement. A Roth IRA, SEP RIA, or even another retirement savings account could solve this problem. Then, you can save here automatically by setting up recurring deposits from your checking account. Number 4. You can cultivate a skill that you can use to earn outside your 9-to-5 job. Now that you've paid off as much debt as you can and started saving, the next step is to improve your overall income. One method to accomplish this is to cultivate a high-income skill. Keep watching because we'll give you all you need to know to accomplish this. To begin, choose a topic that interests you. To do so, consider what skills would be of interest to you. Are you interested in computers? You should consider learning coding or graphic design. Do you enjoy conversing with others? Perhaps a sales side hustle is suitable for you. Ask yourself these questions to figure out what talents you'd like to master initially. You may potentially generate more money by using them. Then, find out how much those skills are valued in the open market. Examine how much freelancers charge for their time and see if it corresponds to how much you want to make in the long run. For example, if you're considering becoming a virtual assistant, but the hourly rate is just $20, which is significantly less than what you want to earn, this is clearly not a realistic option. Once you've developed a skill that you enjoy, you can use it to make money. You must now begin mastering the talent in question. Find resources to help you develop the skill set by doing some research. We suggest starting with free resources such as YouTube and blogs, and then paying for online courses or mentorship as you gain more experience. It's time to start using that skill set to make additional money after you reach a workable proficiency level. To do this, you'll need to acquire some clients. This can be accomplished in two ways. First, create an account on a freelance website and begin bidding on jobs. You can also phone, quote, or email businesses to see if they're interested in what you're offering. You should be in a situation where money starts coming in once you have enough clients. This will allow your income to skyrocket because you'll be earning not only from this new source of money but also from your regular job. Number 5. You need to find a 10 times money mentor. A mentor is a person with specific knowledge that you can employ to teach and motivate you in your personal or professional life or both. Mentors like coaches and teachers help less experienced people learn by creating trust and confidence. Mentors are unique in that they are rarely compensated for their services. Most mentors want to assist in the education of others because they see the genuine value of their wisdom and expertise and want to pass it on to others. They also like the challenge of assisting others in achieving their objectives. As a low-income worker, you should seek out a mentor who earns 10 times your salary. The true reason you want to find a mentor is because they are excellent providers of information. Whether you're starting a business, returning to school, or changing careers, your mentor has most likely been in your shoes. What we recommend is that you find a mentor who has already been through your personal life stage or professional level and can provide you with the best insight into it. They may provide you guidance on how to save money, reduce stress, and be more productive while tailoring their counsel to your specific circumstances. 
Moreover, a 10 times mentor should provide you with constructive criticism. Friends and family members may hesitate to give the feedback they need to make a difference in your personal or professional life. Mentors offer constructive criticism aimed at strengthening the areas of your life that need improvement. Another benefit you realize when taking on a 10 times mentor is the personal development you'll undergo. Once your skills and abilities are understood, they can direct you to work on a specific task to see how well you're doing based on your results. They can give you more challenges to put you to the test or provide you with critical comments on what you did well and where you can improve. Mentors will seek opportunities for you to learn and improve, as well as offer words of support when you need it. Mentors provide encouragement and assistance to keep you working when life becomes tough. Negative ideas might become more obvious in your daily life without a mentor, especially when dealing with a hard topic or situation. Positive incentives encourage you to persevere in the face of adversity. As a matter of fact, seeking out mentors is one of the ways the rich continue to get richer. Even the likes of Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg have mentors to help them build their businesses. And you can do the same. That concludes today's video. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to Cash Kings, and click the notification bell. As always, please leave any concerns or questions in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next video.